Hey YouTubers, um, my name is Mary and we're going to do a um, painting tutorial for y'all today. Um, I hope you have a good time and I hope you can be with your friends, grab yourself the drink of your choice and just really enjoy yourselves. I'm going to show you the materials that I am working with today to um, make it is um, a really nice looking blue flower. So um, I've chosen to go with Anita's acrylic in white. I have black, navy blue, and this is called a rich brown. I also have um, a few cups of water and paper towel because that is like painter's necessities. Um, I have four different brushes here. A broad stroke here, a um, thin flat one. This one is a little more rounded. I'm really not sure if you can see that. And then um, my, I have a thin flat one right here. These are the four that I will be using. Um, I also have a few Q-tips for um, some more detailed work that I will be doing at the very end. So um, I think that is it for all the materials. I hope I didn't skip anything. So. I apologize for the camera moving here. I will get us all set up to view the canvas um, as I am painting. We really won't be um, showing me anymore, thank goodness. So it'll just be the canvas showing and no longer me. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy yourself. And, you know, if you are sick of my talking or anything, Turn on some music. Music is awesome for art therapy and it works out. So, all right, enjoy yourselves. All right, so here's a 16 by 20 canvas. That big shadow in the background is, of course, my big fat head. And what I'm going to go ahead and do, and I will show you every time I do something, I will show you what I do and how much. I do of it. Taking my white paint. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. I use a paper plate because I'm high class around this part. So I'm going to take and put a probably palm size because we got to cover up the cover up this whole canvas. We're going to paint the whole thing here, and then maybe a little bit. Oh, sorry, a little bit of the rich brown will go a long way here. So I'm going to go ahead and put like. Um, a little splash here, so you can see. And I'm going to go ahead and mix that up with my big flat one here until we have a nice kind of cream look. And I won't actually put it on the canvas until I like it. Like I said, I'm kind of a perfectionist. Now, um, this flower painting actually looks a little bit rustic, so if your cream actually has some lines in it, it's perfectly acceptable. I went and go. I went and put some more brown in because um, I didn't feel like my cream was uh, creamy enough, and I don't want it to be too white because white on white doesn't look great to me anyway. So. Um, just going to keep on mixing that up. I know it's hard to see with the poor lighting in here, but hey, this is my first go at this, so back up off me. And like I said, you're going to have a good time. Or I'll, I will come down there and make you have a good time. No, I'm kidding. Like I said, feel free to mute me if you're irritated. I'm just going to keep talking because silence is not golden in my house. I have two little girls, so silence usually means that someone has eaten an entire bag of candies that their uncle has given them for their birthday, or something like that. So, um, I've got a pretty decent base here, and we're going to go ahead and get started putting it on. And if I don't like it, I can always tweak it later. So, I'm just going to broad stroke this here. That's what he said. Just gonna keep going. Lay it on there. 
And if it looks uneven, that's perfectly fine because you don't want this to be a perfect, perfect look. You actually might want to see some of those brush strokes through your painting just to give it a little more texture. So keep going. I'm not gonna lay it on too thick down in my, this will be my left hand corner. I think it's yours too, actually. Um, and I'm not gonna lay it on too thick just because I'm gonna be putting quite a bit of black down there in a little bit. So yes, I will paint it, but if it doesn't get completely covered, I'm not gonna freak out. So keep going, like I said, until your canvas is covered. Um, right now, I'm actually not going to do my canvas sides. I am going to finish those probably off camera in a black just to give it a more, almost a more framed look. You'll notice on the bottom, I, I'm not caring as much about direction. That's because the bottom down here is going to be covered up with... Um, my flower, so if I go a little bit sideways, I'm not going to freak out yet. So, um, yeah, just keep painting away. This is the part where you're going to want to turn up some music because the sound of my voice will get very trying on your ears, trust me. I've listened to myself a time or two and thought, oh my gosh, girl, would you just close your mouth for a little bit? So... Keep going with that paint. This is the very classy establishment here. Painting actually in front of my fireplace. I don't even have a canvas stand yet. Once I, you know, get this going, do this a little more often, maybe I'll do that. And I'm going to be moving soon, so... Okay. Now, just for fun, because I've laid this on fairly thick, I may actually go through and with my broad stroke brush still, I'm taking my brown and I may actually just accent this a little tiny bit. I'm putting just a drop on my plate here. A little tiny drop of brown and I'm going to go ahead and dip that in very lightly. And I might just kind of give it some texture. Give it some dimension here. Very lightly. I'm barely even touching the tip of my brush here. So just want a little bit of dimension here. So it doesn't look really boring. So we'll go ahead and we'll put more of those in later when we have our flower done as well. So we just don't want it to look super flat because that is dull and boring. So from this point this would be where most people would let their, sorry, here I am. Whoa, that was way too close, sorry. Um, would let, go ahead and let their canvas dry. So um, this is the part where you would want to maybe pause and go get a refill, chat with your friends, um, do whatever you got to do, and just um, let it dry for a little bit. I know that sounds pretty lame, but kind of what you got to do so it's just a suggestion um, I for the sake of the YouTubing I'm going to continue but I'm going to tell you to pause and actually let it dry because it will turn out best if you let it dry so pause go get a drink chat with your friends whatever don't continue until it's dry for best results 
However, when you unpause it, you're going to take your black. That's a lie. I'm just kidding. I tell jokes. They're bad. I meant you're going to take your navy blue and you're going to put um, a considerable amount of navy blue on your plate and you're going to actually um, start making the flower from there. So, navy blue, plate, Now, this time, because I am starting the flower, I'm going to use mine, um, the one that's a little bit more rounded. Here's a close-up of what it looks like. I'm spinning it here. Okay, so I'm going to take my navy blue, and I'm going to go ahead and start um, painting those flowers on. So, to get a good idea of where I'm going to start, I'm going to take this paintbrush, I measure from the top. It's almost um, one full paintbrush of where I'm starting. And I'm actually going to start there. I'm going to go up. And then I'm going to... Ugh. Actually, no. I'm going to go ahead and pause because I absolutely have to let it dry. Sorry, guys.